I'm not crazy. My reality is just different from yours. Have fun. Well, brother. It's time to bring this conversation to an end. Forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Then, at last. I can forgive you. shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. Im Fieber waren. Yay! Frag nicht, wie lange ich jetzt für diesen Endkampf gebraucht habe und frag nicht, wie ich jetzt die ganze Zeit offline durch die ganzen Gegenden gelaufen bin. Ich habe Leute gefunden. Woo! <lacht> Kann ich euch ja mal kurz zeigen. Also hier haben wir jetzt alle. Die hatten wir vorher, glaube ich, schon alle. Hier haben wir jetzt alle. Bloß die haben irgendwie Migräne. Na gut, den mit der Schöpfung habe ich, bevor ich nochmal zurückgelaufen bin, nicht mehr gefunden. Die haben jetzt auf einmal wieder lauter Sachen, Kopfschmerzen. Ich habe kein Mittel gegen Kopfschmerzen, noch nicht zumindest. Da habe ich jetzt bis auf zwei welche. <lacht> Nora Lee, ich habe keine Ahnung, wo ich das herkriege. Und ja, hier komme ich nicht hin, weil ich glaube, ich weiß, wo es ist. Ja, Westend, wo ist das Westend, das gesperrt. <lacht> genau. Mein lieber Dr. Reed, ich hoffe, dieser Brief erreicht Sie bald, denn ich muss schnellstmöglich mit Ihnen sprechen. Die Lage im East äh, West End entwickelt sich äußerst schnell und ich bin überzeugt, dass wir alle in großer Gefahr schweben. Die Wachen von, Pri von Priven hat eine große Jagd in London begonnen und seit einigen Nächten suchen und töten ihre Angehörigen aktiv alle Eckhorn, die sie aufspüren können. Lord 
Redgrave, der Vorsitzende des Askalon Clubs, hat mich vor kurzem kontaktiert. Er will Sie umgehend treffen. Sie können nachts jederzeit zu meinem Haus kommen, wenn es Ihnen passt. Wir müssen über all diese Dinge sprechen. Diesen Brief liegt ein offizieller Passierschein bei, mit dem Sie jede Straßensperre und jeden Quarantäne-Kontrollpunkt in der Stadt passieren können. In Freundschaft, Lady Asbury. Yay! Noch mehr Spaß. The flower is dying. It needs water. Wenn ich diese blöde Wasserpflanze äh, trinken kann, ist mir auch ein Rätsel. Vielleicht möchte sie nicht getränkt werden. Uh. Wow. Na gut, das hat mir jetzt vorher gerade im Kampf doch geholfen. Aber ich hätte gern hier. Rezept unbekannt. Na wunderbar. Genau die drei fehlen mir noch. Die drei brauche ich jetzt. Ach ja. Und ich muss zugeben, ich habe mich bei den ersten zwei Malen echt dumm angestellt. Ich habe es jetzt tatsächlich mit Geduld und Beharrlichkeit und viel hin und her gejumpe, habe ich es dann doch endlich geschafft. Aber es kurz davor zu überlegen, ob es sich irgendeine andere Möglichkeit gibt oder hinschmeißen. Nee, das war ein bisschen frustriert. Aber als ich dann in der Stadt rumgelaufen bin und hier und da ein paar Sachen gemacht habe, da hat sich scheinbar das mit dem Leveln dann doch wieder rentiert. Ich hätte hochleveln sollen. Egal. Und ich habe festgestellt, dass es hier sehr viele gruselige Leute gibt. Und dass wirklich an jeder verschönten Ecke <lacht> ähm, irgendwelche Pisser stehen. Was ist das? Dr. Swansea, warte mal. Ja, auch das zurück. Und ich habe von diesem Hobby-Vampirjäger, der eigentlich total der Schwindler ist, habe ich die Plakate unabsichtlich aufgehängt. Ich habe im Nachhinein äh, gelesen, dass man die verbrennen kann. Also stand da, verbrennen oder hängen sie auf. Aber ich habe es dann in irgendeinem Pfosten aufgehängt und dann hieß es auf einmal, oh, du musst die anderen auch noch aufhängen. Äh, war ein bisschen komisch. Ich wusste auch nicht, wie man sie verbrennen sollte. Jonathan, old chap, how are you tonight? I've seen little of you of late. I was conducting research in my room, away from the nightly routines. Of course, of course. Worry not, I understand. The situation has been testy around here. I won't deny it, but we still stand. I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the Lady's Mansion. And with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. Hallo, wir sind Vampir. Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. Why have you never entered the lady's house? You are one of her good friends, are you not? My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is. Nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street violence is escalating quickly. How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster. In less than two days now. The only blessing is that they are contagious for a shorter period. Tell me more about the violence. Geoffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs on a hunt. On a nightly basis, Prewen patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Have they come closer to the hospital? No. They mainly focus on fallen districts or abandoned buildings. But they're growing in numbers. They must be recruiting heavily. Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll? Where are they? There are only a few of us, and most others would not speak to you. I am the black sheep of our brotherly flock, you know. What of my commission here at Pembroke Hospital? Nothing to fear, Jonathan. Your position here is in no jeopardy. You remain one of us, and you are always most welcome. Thank you, Edgar. We shall speak again later. 
Ach, diese Kameraführung. Ah, das war jetzt echt interessant. Mehr oder weniger. Okay, wir gehen dahin, haben wir wieder keine Freunde, müssen uns wieder neue suchen. Ach, das ist so schön. Das erinnert mich voll in den Anfang. Ach, ja. Was mich eigentlich mehr irritiert, warum hat sich unsere Schwester verwandelt? Das verstehe ich gerade nicht so ganz. Jetzt ist geschehen. Weil hat uns die äh, Ashbury nicht erzählt, dass das nicht so einfach geht? Eigentlich? Komisch. Das ist irgendwie merkwürdig. Und warum hatte sie so viel coolere Fähigkeiten als wir? Ah, nicht schon wieder die Heinze. Was ging jetzt ab? Hallo, mein Freund. You must prepare, child. For the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away! Whoever you are! This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. Ich bin nicht dein Streiter, lass von mir ab. Ich bestehe darauf, schweig still. Das ist alles nichts, was ich fragen würde. Ich würde erst mal fragen, was für eine Königin. Weil der... Warum hilft er uns eigentlich nicht? I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to... Silence! I dismiss you now. The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence. <laughs> Silence. I kill you. I'm oh. tired of all these puppet shows. Das stimmt, das sind schon irgendwie so extravagante theatralische Auftritte. Vor allem, ich verstehe den Knie. Weißt du, auf der einen Seite hilft er uns kein bisschen, taucht aber regelmäßig auf. Ja, du bist mein Champion. Ja, du musst helfen, die nach dem Motto die Welt zu retten. Sag, Reis ist in China umgefallen, du musst sie wieder aufheben. Also wirklich mal Tacheles reden, das ist ja furchtbar. So wie es, dass du jedes Mal Glückskeks aufmachst. Ah, aber diese Glückskeks-Orakel. Bin ich jetzt eigentlich gut? Ne, hier war ich schon mal. Und ich habe festgestellt, ich bin ja jetzt irgendwie wie so ein kopfloses Huhn die ganze Zeit hier rumgelaufen. Ich kenne mich hier trotzdem nicht aus. Das ist für mich wie so ein verrücktes Labyrinth. Das ist furchtbar. Ähm... Um, Kollege? They want war. I'll show them war. Um, Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. Ach, jetzt komme ich auf einmal durch. Ach, du musst mich doch veräppeln. Was ist denn hier passiert? Die sehen aber nicht so nett aus. natürlich dadurch. Und ich habe einfach verstanden, wie man jetzt die Sachen tauschen kann. Das muss raten, ich muss wieder gegen die Ja, kämpft's. Oh, komm, ja. Komm, geh nicht, ich muss bald auf die Lustig. Hab ich schon erwähnt, dass ich die neue Kolle toll finde? Ich find's Warum kämpfen jetzt eigentlich alle gegen mich? Was machst du denn da, du bist ein Idiot? Das 
schon. Oh, Gott sei Dank. Tja! Was ist denn los hier? Das ist schlimmer hier. Ich finde die Kämpfe werden immer nerviger. Wenn wir die alle auf einen dann losgehen. Der eine geht ja wenigstens dann noch auf den Vampir los, aber. Nice, mit Schlingen kann ich hier vier anfangen. So this is where she lives. Auch schön. What a splendid house. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. Schön. <coughs> I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Nennen Sie mich nicht so, nennen Sie mich schon. Warum verhöhnen Sie mich unentwegt? Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when I'm easy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? My sister Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying. And I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? I felt this power radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice, his words seemed ancient. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage. That's very I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. 
After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe, and of course to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. <laughs> uh. Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. Will they fight the guard of Prewell? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprived them of a powerful weapon. Ja, entweder er oder ich. Was wir denn machen? How many are there? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Why use you to contact? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first. But it is only logical, considering the critical situation in London. Why not ask for your help? Since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself. You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon, for I am a woman. That suits me well, as long as they leave me alone. Should I trust them? Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful, but I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. The most important rule is to show them due respect. They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. 
How powerful is his reach? The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals, but they are all very powerful. They are not all immortals? How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the Empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. Will the Guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. Why start a second one? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan. Like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the <laughs> offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. What is the plan? The plan is we both try to save this city, you and I. Go to Ascalon accept their proposition, and use their influence to promote your agenda. How can I save London? The epidemic is the priority. You must find its origin and put an end to it. This is the best way to solve the crisis. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Maybe not, Jonathan. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire. But most of those fled England long ago. Please forgive my bluntness, but I have to ask. Was it you? Did you make me? Oh, Jonathan. I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal, but I swear, I had nothing to do with it. You have no idea at all? 
You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. All I can say is this. I will make inquiries and keep you informed. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. Will you not visit Pembroke again? No, I must remain discreet and avoid attracting attention to Pembroke Hospital for the time being. But how will you sustain yourself? I shall not, Jonathan. Fear not. I'm used to it. When will we meet again? As soon as you meet Lord Redgrave, I suppose. Fear not, my dear. I shall only be a heart's beat away. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature. But this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. Das war so süß. <lacht> Entschuldigung, ich nehme gerade voll den Ernst aus der Situation. Aber ich fand das gerade echt putzig. Und wie putzig es weitergeht, das erfahren wir wohl in der nächsten Folge. Vielen Dank fürs Einschalten. Haut rein, Leute.